Hello, ladies and gents. Please like, comment, subscribe. I have my hair like this for a purpose. It's because of this dang episode. So this is Empire, Season 5, Episode 8. Master of what is mine own. Um, and I guess, you know, Lee Daniels was tired of us going and making comments about, whoa, well, what, what about Lucius's leg? What about this? What about that? We finally got to see some continuity and we saw Lucius, uh, like put on his leg or whatever. So his leg is still, um, you know, one is still fake. Uh, he wakes up Cookie because Jamal's performing and Jamal's doing a great job. Cookie's freaking out because she's like, oh my gosh, there's just so much to do and they have to do the showcase. It, it's overwhelming, but they get to go show support to Jamal. I'm still, you know, getting over being sick. So that's why my voice is like this. Um, Jamal does a good job and I actually do like the song and Jamal's just saying how Things are going well, he's really happy, he's engaged to Kai, and uh, the reporter is actually from E, he's a real reporter, and he was like, oh, Kai? And Kai definitely had that look of, why did you just go and do that? Kai definitely had that look of, why did you just go and put me on the spot? Um, but now we see this flashback, because Lucius gave Cookie this jewelry box, but it was a picture of the jewelry that he wanted to buy Cookie. In the flashback, we see that um, two years ago, he bought her the painting after they lost Empire. And even then, they were having financial issues. And he did that whole thing of, well, um, he's betting on us. He's betting on their love. He's betting on their relationship. And she just appreciates it. So Cookie just remembers that it's them against the world, which is cool. Now back at Empire... Um, they have some interesting news, and it's not good news either. Uh, Kingsley wants to go and backlog uh, the Lions family's catalog, especially Lucius. And everyone's looking at him like, that's not a good idea. They actually make money off of that. And he's saying, you know, it's going to be revolutionary. What he's doing is bringing marketing and attention to empires so that they can go and out with the old and with the new phase. and People are saying, hey, like even when Disney did that, they went and cataloged, um, I mean, they went and warned fans, and that's how they drummed up extra attention for it and reaped the benefits. This guy was saying how, yeah, he took his kids to Disney, and I already knew that this was going to be a problem. It actually turned out that Kingsley really didn't like that. And because Kingsley really didn't like that, he fired the guy on the spot. He was like, this is how this works. No one goes and questions me. No one goes and undermines me. And Kingsley is doing this not because it's a sound business idea, but because he hates Lucius. Because he hates Lucius, he's willing to go and do something that looks like a bad business deal. But Kingsley's also a numbers person. So we know he has to have something in the background to compensate for this. I'm looking at him like, wow, you are really this mad? But then again, knowing the backstory, I guess I get it. Hakeem is in the studio. He's with Devon. And they have this other rapper. The other rapper is, remember the rapper that uh, Lucius won in that gambling game? Uh, poker game? Uh, so he's there. And he's actually upset. He stops the performance because he feels like, hey, I'm working with people who have more shine on the record than I do, and I don't like that. I feel like you guys are showing favoritism. It doesn't make sense. So then Cookie had to go and stop all of them and said, hey, hey, hey. Because he was even saying that, yo, you realize that at, at this showcase, we're actually paying for it, dude? It's called an advance. Devon's like, wait, what? And I'm thinking, oh, well, here we go. So then Cookie stops him and says, look, 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 look. Here's how this works. We are putting our own money behind you. We are the reason why you are here today. We won you in a poker game. So you need to go and stop acting um, so privileged. Put your pride to the side. 
realize that we are investing in you. Yes, it is called an advance because we do want our money back. Lucius is like, let's just take five. Uh, no, 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 no. The privilege of these uh, guys thinking that this is just guaranteed. This is just given. No, this isn't how it works. So this is how it works going forward. You sing the song, you do what we say, and yes, you will make money from it eventually. You got it? I said, ooh. Ooh. Cookie wasn't playing. And even the guy, the rapper who originally was boohooing it, he had nothing to say. He kept looking at Cookie, and Cookie kept looking at him like, and? <laughs> and he just had that look of, yes, man. Yes, man. <laughs> um, but now, everyone's at the breakfast table, and uh, now Becky comes over, and Becky tells them what Kingsley did, um, you know, backlogging Lucius's catalog. And, of course, Lucius is pissed, and Lucius is just like, oh, well, you couldn't go and call me and just send this in a text. You had to come over here and gloat or something. Becky had to tell him, hey, I did this out of the courtesy of my heart. Common courtesy. This is why I did this. What you need to understand, what you need to understand is that you blocked me, so I couldn't go and give you a call. Cookie thanks him, and then Lucius has a mini freak out in his mind. Cookie sees that, oh lord, he's about to explode, tells him, uh uh, don't go to Empire and don't do anything to Kingsley. You hear me? We're going to figure this out together. You are not going to go off the rails. This is what you are not going to go off the rails. Do you hear me? Do you hear me? And so then he says, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Next thing we know, we see uh, Cookie. She's there with her, her granddaughter. And guess who comes along? Guess, guess. Pound Cake's daughter. Pound Cake's daughter comes in with a tail between her legs talking about Oh, she broke up with her boyfriend, and oh, he was stupid and immature and using her, and she knows that now, and she's sorry. But she's doing all that only because, let's get this together, only because she needs a place to stay. And she says, you know, she knows what she said to Cookie was wrong, and she only said that because she was upset. She only said that because she was mad, and Cookie is irritated, but... <laughs> Gives her her breakfast, tells her, look, you can stay, but everyone works under this roof. You're, I'm going to figure out what you're going to do, and you're going to do it. There is no back talk. There is no sass. This is how it's going to be. If you don't like it, you can leave. And she says, okay, understood. I got it. I'm thinking, mm, yeah, okay. We'll see about that. We'll see about that. Now, Lucius goes to Empire anyway to go and talk to Kingsley and tells him, this is a bad idea. This is a terrible business move. You're going to lose millions doing this. Why would you go and do this? It makes no sense. And Lucius just kept saying, this isn't, you know, I'm a uh, management firm. I'm not a record label. What, it's not even what Empire does. And that's when Kingsley said, well, I'm actually opening up a management firm myself. So, yes, you will be competition, and yes, I will be removing the competition. Oh, yes, my competition won't be funded? I don't care. I don't care. That makes it easier. That makes it better for me. And so, Kingsley gets upset because Lucius keeps berating him in front of everyone, and Lucius, and that's when Kingsley snaps and says, you know what? I'm going to pur purposely make it my mission to wipe Lucius Lyon's legacy away from the history books, and away from people's consciousness. And that's when Lucius realized, oh, this is personal. He doesn't know why, but now he knows it's personal. Even though Lucius knows that it's personal, he still doesn't know why. So he has to figure that out. And he's talking to Andre and Thirsty. And Thirsty, Andre is saying, look, uh, Kingsley is a businessman. He's not going to go and do something like this unless he has a way to, you know, replace that money. There's something dirty going on over at Empire. I know it. We know how the company operates and how th they need to keep the board happy over everything. Now, <laughs> Andre is on, also on the phone with his girlfriend. Like I said, that this was going to happen, how it ended up happening. 
Oh, I said, oh my gosh. And Darcy goes and says, oh, wait, is this one real this time? <laughs> is this one real this time? He's not right. He's not right. But the game plan is to figure out what is Kingsley's motive, how is he operating, um, and Cookie's nervous because Cookie, she sees Lucius, she realizes, oh, now you're operating on your own again? Because she asked him, oh, did you go to Kingsley and go and do something? Yeah. But he doesn't say what exactly, um, and then we see 16 months prior, uh, Cookie and Lucius, they were having an argument um, due to the fact that Lucius is still doing that blame game of Cookie, how they're in that predicament because of the choices that Cookie made while she was in charge of Empire. He didn't say it like that, but Cookie received it like that because he was alluding to it like that, like he's been doing for a long time. And then she went to go clear her head, and that's when she met, what is it, Darius? The guy who Lucius, um, you know, was playing poker with, saved, but apparently he was the one who actually bought Lucius's painting. We still don't know his MO. We do know some backstory. They were having a light banter while having drinks. I said, uh-uh, I don't like how this looks. I do not like how this looks. And then they magically went into the same elevator it got stuck. He was having a panic attack. And remember, Cookie's used to confined spaces. So she calmed him down, took off his jacket, and they were talking because he had this, uh, he had this box, jewelry box, and it was for the woman that he loves. And apparently, she's been battling cancer for years. And that's what kind of brought Cookie back to reality and said, you know what? Even though Lucius is getting on her nerves, she loves him, and that's what she told this guy. She's married, they're having a spat, but at the end of the day, she loves her husband, so then they go and leave. But before they part ways, she tells him her name, Cookie Lion. So he remembers that. Now, again, I don't know what this means going forward, because Lucius did see the picture of those two together, but that was a while ago, and it wasn't what it looks like. Jamal's working on music, and Kai comes home, and Kai's very upset. He's upset because, essentially, his manager was alluding to the fact that, oh, maybe you need to go into, like, the gossip pop section now that you're dating a pop star. And his editor actually removed him from two cases. Um, he lost two cases, or two leads at least, because people weren't taking him seriously, and he's blaming Jamal, which we know it's not Jamal's fault. But Jamal doesn't understand that in the media world, you have to be taken seriously. And it's just a conflict of interest. I just don't know how this relationship will work. They are actually really similar people. Jamal essentially found the dark skin version of himself. Remember to like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe and come back. It's weird. It's weird. Um, so they're trying to balance that out. Cookie, she's working on blueprints for the big showcase. Uh, super excited, but they have to come up with the money. And that's when Lucius decides that maybe he needs to go and mortgage the house. Cookie is feeling a little guilty about that. Because remember, she saw that condo. She didn't tell him about that. Um, so that's another thing that's looming over their heads. Uh, Becky was in the studio working on some magic. Giselle comes into play. And now they're arguing. Because they're arguing, but they're whispering. They're whispering because Kingsley has the whole place bugged. And uh, Becky's trying to tell her, I, Sis, I thought you had him handled. You're supposed to be controlling him. You're supposed to be, you know, cookie-lying him, essentially. And instead, he's going to do whatever he wants, firing people. It, it's just too much. Like, what are we going to do? Really, what are we going to do with him? We're not safe. I didn't go and get this job just to go and lose it because I had an opinion. And it's, like I said, it was supposed to be them two against the world. But now they're at odds, which is good for the Lion family. Very good for the Lion family. Cookie has been trying to call Candace, and she's been 
uh, no, ignoring her because her son, Franklin, which Cookie goes over to the house, finally sees Candace, learns that Franklin, he's in a mental facility, and he's being pumped with drugs uh, because they just need to keep him sedated right now. And because that's how, you know, they handle a lot of things. Of course, it crushes uh, Candace, and she blames Cookie for calling the cops still. Candace is saying he had an episode. Cookie said, I didn't even know he had those issues. And this is the conflict of interest. The conflict of interest of, hey, one, you didn't tell me your son had the same situation or similar situation that Andre had, even though Cookie made it very clear as a difference. Andre's never gone that thus. He's hurt himself. He's, you know, hurt physical stuff, but he hasn't hurt us, or at least not yet, or at least not too bad. And Candace said, you know what? Well, you're right. Andre didn't do that. Andre instead, he went and his wife died. He killed Anika, he went to jail, he's a criminal, and Cookie said, watch it, and I said, yeah, watch it, um, but the thing is, it's a two-stage thing of calling the cops, which you should have the right to do that if you need to, and also letting your family know, hey, here's the situation with my child or my son, but we don't do that, we're not taught that, so Cookie gets kicked out, because Candace will not forgive her. She just feels like, you did this to my son, so I can't be around you. And it made me nervous because I felt like it wasn't over. I felt like this was just the beginning. Cookie comes home and sees, for some reason I thought the scene was going to go differently. For some reason I thought she was going to see Pound Cake's daughter singing and rapping and said, okay, we need to sign her. But instead, she sees her listening to music and um, feels like, you're not doing anything here. So you're my assistant now. No, we don't have a car. Um, so you need to go on the bus and do these errands. <clears throat> uh, Carol comes along and has the blueprints again for the big showcase. She's doing a great job. Problem is funding it. And Cookie feels guilty about not using her safety net, which is that apartment. Or that condo. And Carol said, after all things Lucius did, why would you go and, you know, make sure you don't have a backup plan? Especially since now, you know how Lucius is. You really want to tell him something like this now? If it was me, I'll just take this to my grave. I said, mm, uh, but you're not, uh, you're not cookie. Uh, what was it? What's his name? Hakeem was told to go and fix things with, Blake, and, uh, Blake has his goons, Hakeem has his goons, and Hakeem comes to Blake's place, said, tells Blake, Tiana's getting death threats from your fans, and you need to tell them to stop. Blake said, I would never tell my fans to do something like that. He said, it's not about you telling them to do something like that, it's, you, it's us squashing it. And so, originally, Blake was open to it. He was open to it until, uh, you know... Blake wasn't apologizing. He was just saying, we need to, yeah, I'm okay with us being cool. That's no problem. But they're not cool. They're not cool. They both have egos. They both have pride. They both have people's guns and goons. And Hakeem was blaming Blake for everything. He said, you came to my house and you broke bread and you tried to steal my girl and you tried to take my kids away from me. And Blake said, uh, you weren't there. And those kids, I'm the kid's uncle, so what are you talking about? Hakeem was pissed because Blake was sunning him a little bit, pulled out a gun. I said, I don't believe this. I don't believe this at all. Hakeem, it's like watching a kid who, yeah, was originally born in the hood, but grew up in the suburbs, but always was attracted to the street life. That's Hakeem. That's Hakeem. And so then Hakeem leaves. Nothing gets squashed. Giselle goes and gets her contact. One of my favorite characters on this show right now who has almost no lines is the woman, the woman that Giselle uses to get dirt because she always comes through. <laughs> it's so funny because Giselle always doubts her. She gives her this dossier that shows, hey, this is Kingsley's mother. Kingsley 
uh, she, that's not, that's not his real last name. His mother just liked that name better. Um, and, well, it is his last name, but his mother chose that last name. And she was from Philadelphia. She went to the other side of the tracks. She got addicted to drugs. And guess who was her dealer slash dude? Lucius. And guess who's her son? And I said, uh-oh, what are you about to do? Things aren't going well as far as them plotting and planning on how they can get this dirt on Kingsley. So, Thirsty has an idea, and I already knew that was Becky. I said, oh my god, Becky, you look rich. You look like you're making money. I love it. I love it. They're paying you well over there. Becky comes, meets Thirsty. She was over it, but then she said, look, I know I look good. I'm staying away from carbs. And then started to eat the french fries. Anyway, uh, here's the problem. They need to go and use her to, uh, you know, implant this chip into Kingsley's hard drive so that they can get the information that they need. But it's risky. It's in his office. But she's going to do it because she loves the Lion family. Remember, she warned them that Kingsley was doing this. So Becky did choose a side whether at the time she wanted to admit it or not. Very important. Now, Becky, she goes in, and she goes, she tips to, I said, Becky, why are you tips it? She's looking, she's looking, she finally sees the hard drive, she's like, bingo, and that's when Kingsley comes in, like, what are you doing? And Becky says, I'm here because I was trying to find my paycheck, I was trying to find my bonus. <laughs> Good cover. Kingsley acknowledges, all right, I understand that the move, you don't see it right now, but I promise you, I wouldn't do something like this unless I had a plan. And I see what you're doing. I know that you've been talking to the Lion family. She was like, yeah. I mean, sometimes when people do things, you kind of get scared. You need to make sure you have a backup. He said, I understand. But if you rock with me, I'll rock with you. You've worked really hard. You deserve your role as a and r And to really reward you, I'm going to double your salary. When he said that, I said, uh-oh, we lost Becky. <laughs> I thought, uh-oh, we lost Becky. But Becky, she smiled. She waved. She said, oh, my God, thank you. That's so nice. That's so nice because she had her purse right next to the hard drive. So she knocked her purse over, took out the hard drive. Even after the money, the pay increase, she still put the hard drive in. And I said, oh, Becky, Becky, thank you, Becky. Because for a while, I was looking at you like, mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. Now, Andre, he's looking through the database. Uh, Cookie and Thirsty are like, what, what's going on? Well, Thirsty said Becky would come through, and she did. That's when uh, Andre looks through the information on the hard drive and realizes, oh, no. Oh. So, so Kingsley's really doing something illegal. That's when uh, Lucius decides to go to Jamal's place, and I instantly, when I heard the information, I knew he was going to use Kai, and I knew Kai would jump on it, because he's a journalist. Here's a lowdown. Apparently, Kingsley changed the privacy rules for Empire Extreme, and he changed it because the government is actually paying Empire to use, it's not data mining, it's something on another level, to use the user's information. So, of course, Empire Extreme, you can know the location of the person, not only by GPS, but also because of the microphones. The microphones can remain on whether the people know it or not. And a lot of apps have that feature. A lot of apps are listening to everything that, you know, that the mic can possibly pick up. So, it's not just Empire Extreme. Um, and... You know, he was saying because of the user base being minority based for Empire, um, essentially the government could target black and brown people and say, oh, you're at this location where a crime occurred. We're going to put you in jail. I said, oh, my gosh. So Kai heard it, picked it up. Jamal said, no, we're not doing this. You don't have to do this. Kai said, I want to do this. This is my job. And. Lucius was smiling and kind of smirking, like, Jamal, come on, listen. You know, dude, I'm thinking, Lucius, you have Kai, you don't need Jamal. <laughs> Your plan worked. Your plan worked. 
Pinksley is thinking it's a good day. He's going to see his mom. And that's when he sees mm, Giselle. Giselle has the dossier. She said, I know who your daddy is. So here's how this works. Because you're not just going to go and do whatever you want now. I'm going to get whatever I want. So that you can continue to get whatever you think you want. Listen, I'm not mad, Giselle. Giselle, be careful though. But I'm not mad. I am not mad. Well, all that's going on. Uh, Lucius and Cookie, things are going well because now he knows what he needs to do to take down Kingsley. But that's when Carol, C Candace comes along and Candace says, you know what, Cookie, since you ruined my family, I'm going to ruin yours. Lucius was thinking, oh, you got to stay for dinner? No, no, no. And you don't want me to stay for dinner after you look at this. I'm thinking, what? Four million dollars and one foot out the door. Yes. Your love of your life, Cookie, has a backup plan. She has millions that she's just sitting on, and you're doing all this stuff to try and make this work for your company, and she has all this money right here. Cookie had that look of, Carol, I'm going to beat you. Mm. Of course, Lucius is pissed. He's pissed. He's hurt. He's disappointed because he feels like after all that I've done for you, after mortgaging the house, running around, doing all this illegal stuff again, and you had all this money stockpiled that, you know, I wouldn't have done half of this stuff. And it was like, why? 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 And Cookie said, because I trust you, Lucius. I don't trust myself with you. I don't trust myself to go and make sure that I'm protected from you. You need protection from me after everything? Yes, actually, after everything, because before you changed and turned into this new person, things were very different, Lucius. Before the whites came back, there was Lucius Lyon. That's not what she said, but that's what I was thinking. And um, they're arguing, a parallel argument going on in the house is uh, with, having to do with Hakeem and Tiana. Tiana's taking the kids. She's taking the kids because she feels like Hakeem is a liability. He had one job up, put his pride to the side. And Hakeem, as a reminder, Bella's not even your daughter. And she said, well, but I love her as my own. And that wasn't a problem before, but now we're arguing that's a problem. Miss Juanita, please get Bella ready. And while all of this is happening, we see that uh, the arguments, they come... And everyone's arguing in the same area. Lucius and Cookie like, wait a minute, what are you two arguing about? N then they see Bella with Hakeem's gun because the idiot doesn't have it stashed away. And she's pointing it at everyone. And then she points it to herself. And that's how the episode, I said, she didn't shoot herself. I know she didn't shoot herself. But this is, this is a good thing about, um, you know, gun safety. So I like that they added that in here. So that's it. Please like, comment, subscribe. Come back for the winter finale next week.